Breaking news, Atlanta's airport has reversed course after an 11 Alive reveal investigation. Hartsfield Jackson International Airport hiring emergency medical dispatchers for its 911 call center. Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe uncovered dozens of deaths at the nation's busiest airport in our exclusive investigation. And Brendan, this is a significant shift and it's happened very quickly after your story. Yeah, Cheryl, it's a big deal. Every 911 dispatcher at Hartsfield Jackson Atlanta International Airport will be trained to deliver CPR and other medical instructions over the phone, a life-saving system they're currently prohibited from using. Thomas Lawson from Flowery Branch died while he and his wife waited 22 minutes after first calling 911 when he collapsed from an apparent heart attack. Ruth Lawson reached Clayton County 911, which uses emergency medical dispatch, but because they were in the South Economy parking lot, the call was transferred to the airport's 911 center. The dispatcher who answered was medically trained at the airport, having left a job as the EMD manager for Fulton County 911 just six months earlier but the airport doesn't currently use CPR or EMD. Is it nice if they give restitution for something they did, but is it nicer to make sure it never happens to someone again? Is it something you think they ought to have, especially given that's a place where plane crashes can occur and major mass casualty incidents can occur? That there must be some out there that do this, and if we're missing that piece, well, they missed it big time and they have the ability to fix it. That's the widow there. They are fixing it. Ruth Lawson, I talked to her on the phone. She's thrilled to hear this, even though obviously nothing will bring her husband back. She just wants to make sure it doesn't happen to anyone else ever again. The airport has not made any announcement here. We got this all through public records. Just two days after our first investigation aired on 11 Alive, the airport got this quote from the vendor that will install the emergency medical dispatch software and train all 911 dispatchers in EMD. The job postings for new emergency medical dispatchers and supervisors is live right now on the city's website. And our complete investigation, including the 911 calls and accountability interviews with airport officials, is posted right now on 11alive.com.